Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, so today we're going to be learning how to play Scott Street by Phoebe Bridgers. And um, it's, it's a pretty easy song. Um, this version that I play sounds really like the original. Um, it might not be exactly, but I think it's pretty close. I know she plays with the capo, um, and it sounds pretty similar if you've heard her play live. Um, so we're going to go through it step by step. If you haven't already, um, check out my cover that I did to hear the song played fully through. Um, let's dive into it. So you're going to want to put your capo on the third fret. And uh, the first chord that she plays, it's going to be a repeating uh, chord sequence uh, for the verse. And then we'll talk about the chorus after. Um, but for the verse, you're going to want to play a G. But we're just going to do um, the third fret low E. Um, third fret high E, third fret B. So, this is it. And when I started off, because this is like the first uh, chord in the, the verse song, um, you know, it goes, Walk in Sky Street, feel like a street. That part. Um, I play the low E first, so it's like. Alright, so that's the first chord. And then we're going to go into a D sus four. So that's gonna be, keep your two higher fingers on the third fret. And then you're going to put your, I put my um, middle finger, I put it on the second fret of the G. So it's gonna be, so you're gonna go. the second chord. Third chord is a C add nine. Um, so you move your middle finger up to a the third fret of the uh, A string. So it's going to be and then I hammer on. A lot of people play this differently but this is the way I play it. It's easy. It sounds good. Um, so hammer on to your index finger onto the second fret of the uh, third string. So you're going to go. Right? Sounds good. So the whole thing all together. And then that just repeats. Super easy, right? Super easy. Okay, so that's the verse, and then when you get to the Do you feel ashamed? For that part, you're gonna, it's basically the same chords, a little bit different. So you're gonna go to the A sus, what you did here, with your uh, high E and B on the third fret, and then um, your index or middle finger on the second fret, that, that chord. You're gonna, and then you're gonna move the finger on the second fret up one string. And then G. And then D sus4, that one, the original. Okay, I'll go through that slow again. That's the the chorus part. So it goes A sus, C sus, G, D sus, A sus. So it's just moving this finger, just boop boop boop, moving it up. And then coming back down. So it's A, C, G, D sus, A sus. It's like a circle. It comes back to each other. So you're gonna do that twice in the chorus. So it's like All good. 
and then you're gonna go back to the verse back to that G D sus C I nine back to the original pattern that we learned first and then um, it just continues like that verse again chorus again and then the bridge at the end the anyway don't be that part changes up a little bit but I really like this part because it's very simplistic and sounds really good so you're gonna go third fret low E and then fifth fret on second string so it's this little pattern here and it's gonna go any Second fret with that first finger, the stranger, and then you're gonna move down a string and go three and four here. The stranger, and then slide this finger up to the fifth fret. pretty simple right um just practice this it's it's not that difficult um and it sounds great love phoebe bridgers if you want to hear more phoebe bridgers content if this was helpful for you um like subscribe so i can keep doing this and uh thanks enjoy <laughs>